Hello, I am Mansi. I pursued my undergraduate and BA honors English from Maitri College and post graduation in ME English from Hansraj University of Delhi. In this video, I'll be talking about the admission process, cutoffs, and why you should opt for English literature as your course. So, let's begin with the eligibility criteria for the undergraduate course. The entire procedure used to be different back then, but as we know, CUED is a part of DU now, so each student has to appear for the common university entrance test. If we talk about merit-based admissions and cutoffs, each student must look up the DU website and search for the course and the required percentage. If you're not a humanities student during your senior high school and want to change your stream from science, commerce to humanities, there will be a reduction of about 5%. You can calculate uh, with your best four subjects and find an average. If it's more than 89%, then you might get enrolled quickly in your wishful college. For the post-graduation course, you're supposed to fill out the admission form. You can choose either entrance or merit-based option or both. The first to fourth admission list will be available on the departmental website, that is the Department of English website. As you further proceed, keep your documents updated before enrolling yourself in DU. Check out the PDF for documents listed on the website and be ready without hustling at the last moment. As for the cutoffs, if you have missed the range of percentage provided in the following lens, then you might miss your admission to every college. Because there is a strict rule to follow, get admitted to whatsoever college you see in the list within the same range that your school lies in. Students might face major problems during their admission because of the non-updated documents and getting greedy to choose their dream college, eventually missing the admission list. Why you should offer this course? Um, honestly, literature will shape your personality and will make you think and voice out your opinions you have been suppressing throughout your life. You'll be, you will be gaining knowledge, come around, coming around, come around various authors and their magnificent works and learn how to research and write an, an academic paper. It's a beautiful way of learning and growing. English literature comprises poetry from the medieval to postmodern era, plays from the Renaissance to the 21st century, and novels from around the world. The entire syllabus for undergraduates to postgraduates has been up uh, updated and provided in the link below. You can follow that to know more about what the course offers. If you love Greek mythology, prose, satire, partition literature, women's writing, Shakespearean plays, and sonnets, you're going to love this course. Coming towards your exam pattern for English honors, there, are, there will be six questions with each question having an internal or option, three of which will be 15 marks and three and uh, three of 10 marks. For ME English, you will be given eight to nine questions depending upon the paper. Question one will have 10 sub-questions out of which you will have to choose five, comprising 25 marks. For from questions 2 to 8, you will have to choose 3 questions of 15 marks each. Well, no paper or subject in this course is easy to or difficult. It's, it entirely depends on the uh, student's understanding of it because, as you know, hard work will decide everything. Offer the subjects you like or are interested in the most. You will be given DSC choices in undergrad and elective options in postgrad. Every detail is provided in the description box below. As for the internals in UG, you will have a 25 marks paper out of which 5 marks are for attendance and 24 to assignments. For postgrad, it's an entirely different process. You will have 30 marks for the internals, 5 for attendance and 25 for the paper. You will have to attempt just one question in one subject in the MLA format. As for the main examination, UG has 75 marker paper, while uh, postgrad has 70 marker paper for each subject. By gaining academic knowledge, you would want to join societies, enjoy your college life. So you will have dance, singing, drama, debate societies. English department of each college holds a fest of their own, following with outstanding paper presentations, mic drop, poetry recitation, quizzes, group discussions, and interactions on some interesting topics along with price distribution. Some of the few colleges I would recommend for this course are Lady Shira, Miranda House, Hansraj, Ramjas, Shri Venkateshwara, St. Stephen, Hindu, Kirori Mal and Kamla Nehru. 
I would advise students to not think of English literature as a course similar to your 12th standard English because what you have been learning in your school is just 0.1% of what you will be learning here. I'd say it is not what it is. Uh, it is vast, beautiful and filled with an unlimited amount of knowledge because what we will learn accumulates bits and pieces from other fields including history, philosophy, psychology, sociology, political sciences and so on and so forth. So you will learn by each repassing. You can pursue your higher education such as a doctorate degree, appear for NET GRF and become a university professor or just look for publishing and editorial work in the corporate world. Thanks for watching this video till the end. I hope it's helpful.